Hello and welcome to my video on the GIMP. Now what is the GIMP? Well if you're familiar with Photoshop the GIMP is basically a free Photoshop clone. Uh, most anything you can do with Photoshop you can do with the GIMP except have a lighter wallet because the GIMP again is free. Uh, it's uh, what they call open source so as it says here it's freely distributed and most anything that uh, Photoshop a several hundred dollar program can do the GIMP can do. As a matter of fact, the GIMP can even edit Photoshop files. So, in this particular video, we're going to basically just deal with the installation process. So, as you can see right here, this is the site we want to go to, and this has been newly updated. As a matter of fact, the 2.4.0 release was just released uh, just a few days ago from the date of this uh, video being recorded, October 24th of 2007 and GIMP.org is the site you want to start off with. So we'll go ahead and click on download. And just a side note here, this particular download is going to be for a Windows version and for Windows 2000 or newer. Anything 2000 or older, you've got a different installation to deal with and we can cover that in a different video but we want to go ahead and click on the GIMP 2.4. As a matter of fact, once you get here, you can go over to older versions to take care of your Windows 95. God forbid you still have Windows 95 <laughs> or 98 or ME uh, or any of the older versions from 2000. Um, but anyway, then we go ahead and click on download. Now I've already downloaded this to my desktop, so let's just assume we've already gone through this process. And this is the installation icon here. So now then, um, just a, another side note too, before we install anything, uh, it's a good idea to go ahead and close down any Windows programs. And if you have um, any uh, any virus software open, just to feel comfortable, if you want to, you can go ahead and scan it with your antivirus. But be sure and shut down your antivirus before you do any installation, not just with GIMP, but just with anything, just as a kind of a side note there. Anyway, double click on the icon. Let's go ahead and read all that if you'd like, and then click on next. You can definitely read all that if you'd like. I don't think I ever have, so I'm not sure what all they'd put in there. Uh, and then click on the install now. Go ahead and pause the video until this is done. Okay, now that the installation is complete, this is what we get. And you can see launch the GIMP and click on finish. 